two packs. We're not taking too long here. Green white tapper in the pack. Elvish visionary. This thing. Not a particularly good pack. Elvish visionary is always going to be good. Um, this thing is going to be good in green red or green white. I think it's like reasonable to take either. Probably good to take this. Don't think I need to take Agony Warp for any reason. I think it's okay to take this, and then it's just going to be good in Selesnya or Gruul if I'm able to go into either, as opposed to taking like Elvish Visionary or the Land, both of which keep me very open. <clears throat> okay, so we have a Charging Grip in here, 4 mana, 2-2 two, two Flyer that attacks is a 3-3. Three, three. I do like that. Pitch Burn Devils, pretty solid 2-for-1. Academy Raider, not a bad card. We have an uncommon missing from an M14 pack, so there's always the uh, possibility that it's opportunity that's missing here. Um, yeah, we'll just take Charging Griffin here, I think. <coughs> Truder Alarm, so yeah, we got an older pack here. Spindrift Drake is okay. Uh, Cloud Spirit's pretty good. Brush with Death is kind of messed up. There's a bullwhip here. <laughs> Two sliver sets, that's true. Um, so is Brotman passing to us? Yes. Okay, so Cloud Spirit, Bullwhip. Bullwhip is pretty slow. Cloud Spirit is just kind of generally good. It's very unlikely that I can put Naya Battle Mage into my deck if I'm putting Cloud Spirit in my deck, but that's probably fine. Uh, let's just take this thing. Maybe I can just try to manage my channel from my phone, perhaps. Looks like we got a Master's Edition pack here. And these are not exactly the strongest. River Merfolk is like playable. I think it's okay to just take Shambling Strider though. This is what I think I would take um, during the original set because it is a pretty big beater. Um, not sure exactly how much worse that is, but yeah, I think we're just gonna take Shambling Strider at this point. Pretty medium start. If we're able to play green-white, then we have um, some goodies. But a couple old packs like this in a row, I mean, Cloud Spirit is a very aggressive three drop, but <laughs> Are we passing the Chris? I assume that's what's going on here. No, Chris is passing the Brahman. That makes sense too. Anyway, um, so what are the options here? Are we ever splashing? Could we splash blue for Cloud Spirit? I'm not sure about that. Okay, another old one. Um, Ember Shot, that's pretty good, but it is very expensive. There's also a uh, Benevolent Bodyguard, which is reasonable. Probably just the pick. I mean, it is probably those two, right? Um, not really into the Fire Beast. Cage Mail is very strange. Like, this is just good and it's cheap. And then this is a seven mana kill a thing draw card. Um, if the game goes super long, then maybe that's fine, but we're really incentivized to be green-white here because we do have the Battle Mage and the Charging Griffin. So I'm going to take the Bodyguard, but I could imagine a world where Ember Shot ends up being better. This gives us outs to, like, blue-white too, which is reasonable. Could be, like, green-white splash red for some goofy pump abilities or something. Okay, Snake Umbra is good. Ooh, Battle Rattle is also good, though. Puncturing Light is okay. I'm not really into a Regress. I'm not really into a Lone Missionary either. So, yeah, it looks like we're shaping up to be some kind of Naya deck, probably. Um, we can take Snake Umbra, which probably has... Um, Pretty high ceiling. There's Battle Rattle. 
which is probably the most powerful card in the pack. And then there's Puncturing Light, which is just like decent interactive card. I'm kind of leaning Snake Umbra. Not sure about that though. I think it's okay to do this. We do pass Hellion Eruption, which is sometimes really, really messed up. But let's just take the Snake Umbra. Golem Skin Gauntlets. Oh, and another Battle Rattle. That's interesting. Sanctum Gargoyle as well. I think this time we are supposed to take the Battle Rattle. Um, I mean, Sanctum Gargoyle is pretty much just a 2-3 flyer for us. Um, the last deck I had Sanctum Gargoyle in, it was like pretty reliably a 2-for-1, but at this point I think it just makes sense to take this, kind of cut off the red signal. I don't think we need Golem Skin Gauntlets particularly badly. I think it's okay. Don't love it though. Sun Gold Barrage, this card's playable. Brimstone Vandal, also playable. Revenge of the Drowned, this card's good. Mounted Dread Knight is also interesting. So I could take Sun Gold Barrage. It's a pretty late Revenge of the Drowned. Um, I kind of just want to take Brimstone Vandal though. Continue having like somewhat aggressive deck. Brimstone Vandal is good with Snake Umbra. Um, the Dread Knight is quite large, but I think it makes sense to do this. Okay. And we have a Bant Panorama, which is pretty reasonable when, like, we could be red, green, splash, white for Naya Battle Mage and maybe, like, Charging Griffin or something. It's not ideal, but maybe that's where we are. I don't really care about the other stuff, so sure. Okay, just a 2-mana two 2-2. Two, two. Gonna be more interesting than a 7-mana five 5-5. Five. This card's, like, not bad. Can put a Snake Umbra on it or something. Sure. Uh, probably want to Hate Draft a Brush with Death. I'm not too worried about random Intruder Alarm uh, infinite combos, I don't think. Uh, I don't care about this. So yeah, let's just Hate Draft this guy. Um, this thing is like pretty playable. This one, the drawback is quite bad, I think. Okay, and then this guy might be playable too. It's not bad if you're hellbent. Brood birthing, not really the red card we were hoping to get back there. So we can play some kind of green-white deck. We did see a couple battle rattles. If we picked up both battle rattles, we could potentially have like a really interesting and powerful um, token strategy or something like that. But I'm not even sure we're supposed to be in red, which is the awkward thing. Almost certain we're not supposed to be blue. So that's, I don't know, that's pretty funny, I think. Okay. Um, so here we are. Looks like a very mediocre pack of Dominaria here. Um, cut this. I'm not sure why it says there are only 14 cards and why why there only seem to be 14 cards, but it's kind of where we're at, so that's fine. Uh, there's Avon Sentry, which is decent. Jaya's Immolating Inferno, which is pretty uncastable. Bunch of like medium red cards. I don't really love any of them. Um, and we're also not even sure that we're red, so I think it makes a lot of sense to just take the Avon Sentry here. Maybe we just like Wheel of Fire Elemental or whatever, which is actually like a pretty nicely statted card for a format like this. Could be like Boros Splash Naya Battle Mage, which is not insane. Levitation. Oh, we got 7th edition here. Okay. Ancestral Memories is good, but wrong colors for us. <laughs> um, hmm. So this pack is pretty terrible for me. I can take Giant Spider, I guess, over Hill Giant. Or I can take Hill Giant Spider. Um, yeah, I don't think Hill Giant is really cutting it. The other option is basically just to hate draft something blue. Um, this is kind of like Drawn from Dreams or whatever. I 
think Giant Spider is good enough for me to take it here. Levitation is very awkward because it's a powerful effect, but often kind of redundant. Chandra's Outrage. Is this the... I think this is the two and two red. Ooh, but there's a Gideon's Law Keeper. Hmm. Have to make sure this isn't the five mana. Yeah, okay. So we're picking between these. Question is, are we more into white or red? I think white. Uh, I think another tapper is good for us. It seems like white has been open. Um, we did just pick up a green card. Griffin Sentinel on the wheel, maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure about this. I think you could make an argument for the Outrage, but I think I want to take the Law Keeper. Molten Frame. Okay, so what is this? One of the Alara packs? <laughs> uh, okay. So this is a bad one. I guess we can take Not Vine Mystic. I don't know if we should be doing that. Grixis Slave Driver is a card that's actually good, and it's one color. Darklit Gargoyle is good, but you do have to be both colors for that one. I don't think it's crazy to take the Knot Vine. Um, this thing is not great. Maniacal Rage is okay, but we don't really have any reason to pick up a Maniacal Rage. I don't think it's very likely this thing makes our deck, but maybe if we get a lot of fixing or Something like that, if we just keep going all over the place, then it could be reasonable. I don't really see a reason not to take it, I guess. Other than like maybe hate drafting the slave driver, which honestly, that could just be a better choice. But at this point, I'd like to try to improve what I'm working with here. Okay, looks like some kind of Theros pack. I think Lightning Volley is a playable. Oh, creatures. Okay. Uh, but then we also have Excoriate. Great Heart. Uh, hmm. Not great. And then we have Divination here, which is pretty good. So creatures you control. How many creatures am I realistically going to control, though? Um, if I had the Double Battle Rattle Token Maker go wide deck or something, then maybe that would be great. I kind of think Excoriate is better because I have Naya Battle Mage plus the um, Law Keeper. Maybe that's not accurate, but it seems like it makes sense and kind of gives me outs to play Selesnya still. I don't know. Maybe Lightning Volley is much better than I think it is. It reminds me of Flame Fusillade or whatever. But this says permanency control as opposed to creatures. Um, so it seems pretty clear that one of those is a better effect than the other. Oh, this one is a sorcery, though. I guess that's the difference. Um, do we get any playables from this pack? Oh, we get Flowering Field. Uh, I think that one is pretty playable. Otherwise, uh, I guess Ridgeline Rager. But... I mean, picking up any kind of playable from, uh, what is this, Pack of Prophecy? Seems like it's above average. And maybe a Divine Verdict here. Oh, there is a Berserker's Blood Ridge, though. Oh, no, this is, I thought this was the um, Stormblood Berserker or something, maybe. But I guess we'll be taking Divine Verdict here. A little bit awkward with uh, a couple tappers. Oh, there's also this Spear Hunter guy, which is fine-ish. Yeah, still not really sure what my secondary color is supposed to be, story of my life. But we'll just keep going here. I don't know if Word of Command works. Oh, okay. Interesting. So Just Fate, I think, is like a fine effect, but I don't actually think we're that interested in it. I think at this point we'd rather just have like a Dragon Engine or an Aesthere Glider. I think our creature count is pretty low. So if we imagine the stuff is all cut, how many creatures do we have? One, two, three, four, five. I guess we have some creatures. It does feel like it might be a slower one though. I 
think I want to go with the glider. I do have, like, Snake Umbra. I could see this being a mistake. Maybe Dragon Engine is just much better. But I'm going to try the glider. Okay. We got this stuff to come back around. I don't think we're interested in Tragic Poet, so maybe we take Pierce the Sky for the sideboard. Otherwise, it's like Flame of Keld, but I don't like that very much. Seismic Shipped, not really into that either. So I think I'll take this. Whisper, of course, is the best card there. And now we have Grey Ogre that gains two life, or Hill Giant. Meanwhile, there's Unsummon still in the pack. Um, so good pack for other people. Hill Giant is better than Venerable Monk, but I think I'm taking the Venerable Monk anyway. I don't love it. Okay, we get Griffin Sentinel. This is a nice one. Makes that Snake Umbra a little better. Uh, Maniacal Rage is playable sometimes. Um, this guy can be kind of decent, potentially. Uh, these cards are both terrible. Okay. Ooh, Druid's familiar. Okay, this card is cracked. Oh no, but there's a Moon Silver Spear. Ah! <laughs> okay. Well, we managed to do the unthinkable. We opened an Avacyn Restored pack, and it's good. <laughs> so, I guess we're taking Moon Silver Spear, because I think this card is really insane, but man, it really hurts to pass through its familiar. I don't think we wheel a playable from this pack. Not very often, at least. I'm gonna take this. Oh man, it hurts. Uh, Jungle Troll? That's Gruel, isn't it? There's a Giant Mantis. We already have another version of the same thing. Yeah, I'm gonna actually have to read some of these. Ooh, the Elves? Okay. Could just be taking this. Oh, this is an 8-4. Uh, what does this thing do? Uh, okay, I don't think we're into that. Um, hmm, this is kind of interesting. I think we're either interested in the elves or the mantis. If we take the elves, technically we have outs to splash, but realistically I don't know if that's happening. Um, I guess now that we just picked up this, which is pretty expensive, and we just, we generally do have a lot of four mana cards, it's probably just most responsible to take this. It's a harder kind of effect to pick up too, for whatever that's worth. Oh, Mister of Impediments, we'll probably be taking that one here. Um... Just like let the rest of the cards load, just in case. Okay, Celestial Ancient, five mana, three, three flyer. How many enchantments do I have? I have two. Card's good. I don't know how good it is though. Is it better than just a three mana, one, one tapper? The upside is pretty insane. I don't think I'm really playing more enchantments. Um. Each creature you control. Hmm, so it's five mana, three, three flyer. It's really only good if I have the enchantments. It's not easy. Um, I'm not like wheeling an enchantment from this pack that's playable or anything. I don't know. Maybe this is a mistake, but I feel like just taking the Minister here. This could certainly be wrong. I'm really not sure about this. Ooh, Conclave Cavalier. And is this... Oh, this is the kind of nutty... Oh, this is a good pack for us. Whoa, we did it. Conclave Cavalier, Rosemane Centaur. I think we're taking Imara, probably. And then we're wheeling... A Selesnya card? <laughs> I get to I get to tap my own Imara with my three tappers. <laughs> I love it. Okay. I really, really hope we wheel one of the Selesnya 4-4s. Four it's like pretty enormous for us if we do. I 
think Might Weaver could be playable. Oh, Locks and Mystic, just more tappers. Yeah, I guess we're just tapping everything. <laughs> Do we have four tappers now? We have Lawkeeper, Naya Battle Mage, Minister plus the Mystic. Just a ridiculous number of tappers. I mean, this is good. Lots of tappers is it's pretty good. <laughs> This pack three has been pretty juiced. I'm excited. Uh, we do have some random enchantments for the 3-3 um, three, three flyer rare that we passed. Could just take this. It's a 2-3. What am I passing? Passing Crufix. I don't think I care about that. Target creature must be blocked this turn if able. Is this thing good? This thing might be okay. You can always just target the opponent's creature or like play this post combat or whatever, so you can avoid some potential awkwardness with it. I don't think I'm going to be able to use it very effectively. That's kind of the one problem. Um, but I don't think I really care about the other effects in the pack, so maybe it's still good enough. Every now and then I probably get to like set up a kill with this or something. Kaldheim is apparently coming my direction. I don't think we're gonna... Yeah, none of this stuff is actually playable for me, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, I guess I could take Wings of the Cosmos as like a kind of playable combat trick. Maybe it's good even. It says untap it and I have four tappers in my deck plus one, plus three. Otherwise, it's just broken wings. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Sure. Oh, old Gastbark. This guy's playable, right? It's five mana, three, six, I think. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we're in for a Gastbark for sure. Intimidator Initiate's not bad, but otherwise, this is kind of a blank pack. Okay, there's Defang coming around. This is where, like, if I had taken the guy that cares about enchantments, I could have then, like, I picked up one enchantment from the Born of the Gods pack or whatever, and now I'm picking up another enchantment, and I feel like I had at least one other chance to pick up an enchantment. Take this one, maybe. Uh, there's Polymorph going around, too, which is funny. I think I want this for the sideboard. Okay, this is... One of the old Ravnica packs. We're almost out of cards to get one of the 4-4s four back from the earlier Ravnica packs. Um, I guess this guy is maybe playable sometimes. I do have like three-ish gold cards. Nice. I got the Conclave Cavalier. Wow. So somebody said that no one's playing Selesnya. I'm going to take Rosemane Centaur over Conclave Cavalier. Now I have the Cavalier. That's so sick. <laughs> I don't think we're playing this. I don't know. This is going to be interesting. Um, do I want this Phage? Or do I want this 1-3? Not too afraid of a 1-3, I think. Okay, and we even get Armament of Nyx, so we really did get a ton of enchantments there. If we had picked up the 5-mana 3-3 three, three flyer, we could have had a lot of bad enchantment removal spells. Try to build the deck quickly. Grixis cards, no thank you. Not find Mystic is not on the menu. 30 on color cards here, not counting our land. Nobody has said anything here. Uh, this is definitely a sideboard card. Um, okay, let's do sort by mana value. Do some of this. Okay, we do want to play both one drops, I think. I don't know about this. We'll move it over here for now. This one I think is 
really bad. This one I think we probably want to play, but it'll still go over there for now. Not sure about this one or that one. And I think the rest of the stuff is like okay-ish. These are kind of questionable, but not too bad. I guess it's probably still worth putting them in this pile. Um, and then let me just check through here. Oh, whoops, Snake Umbra, of course. I think these are all good. Good enough, at least. And then I think I want to play these. Probably this. I like the flowering field, I think. And not sure about the rest of these. I think probably no to these. That brings me down to 23. So I could just run this 23 plus query on elves. It's not unreasonable, I don't think. Um, I don't know if there's any need to cut anything else here. Throw in a bit panorama and just reread the stuff, I guess. Yeah, so it's a two mana O3 flyer and it grows if it's dealt damage. Defang prevents the damage that would be dealt by enchanted creature, which is the same thing as armament, except some upside or downside if there's an enchantment creature around. And yeah, the rest of the stuff I think is not super exciting. So I think this is okay. Sort by color here. This is white. Um, this is kind of either. So I think we want to go like 9-7. So it's probably about good. <laughs> All right. We have a nice capable hand here. Land of each color and a mana dork. Playing against forest. So I wonder if Wacky has like the Druid's Familiar, for instance. Also wonder whether we're supposed to choose red or white on this Quirion Elves. It's definitely greedy to choose red, but we do have both cards that care about red mana in hand. All right, just passing. Ooh, okay. Well, if this happens, I think we just go ahead and play Amara. Should be pretty good. We do have the Minister on the way if we can find a land. See if there's a 2-3 here, or maybe an X spell. Okay, there is a 2-3, not the one I expected though. All right. And now that we have double white, I think it's more reasonable to play Quirion Elves um, to, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, this can gain Forest Walk, it's kind of annoying. And red mana is found now. All right, well, we could be in rough shape here. Arcane Teachings, yuck. Okay, so we just get to kill this thing right now. Sure, that is pretty bad for me. Um, I would love to be able to Divine Verdict this. I guess I'm just supposed to attack. Giant Spider. It's gonna be awkward. Arcane Teachings is pretty powerful. Okay. So 
So it's interesting because now if you make this attack, okay, if you don't make this attack, then I'm quite happy because now I get to make this attack. We might see block here, try to eat this. Do lose a life linker. I can't really do much about that though. Oh, okay. So we're going for this. Sure, I think that's fine. Don't need to divine verdict this. So we're gonna lose a life linker. Oh, I guess I could have played Naya Battle Mage there. I was probably just supposed to play that, wasn't I? Yeah, this is a little too suspicious, I think. Yeah. One thing about this play is, hmm. You know, I think I messed up and I was just supposed to play Naya Battle Mage. Now, because the lifelinker is getting pinged, we get to just attack with it. Okay. Looks like there's no hexproof thing or anything, so finally we get to get that one out of there. Now we get to try to have a real game. Okay, interesting, just passing the turn. So go ahead and attack. I think I think it's best to well let's play this enchant planes I guess play query and elves choose red pass okay So I think now, hmm, maybe I messed this up. I think there's a chance I was supposed to, um, I think there is a chance that I was supposed to wait on the flowering field until later to try to maximize my constellation triggers, but this seems good too. Plus three plus three, okay. Well, now we're gonna be waiting a bit. I'm gonna wanna use this battle mage. Can't think of a reason to hold the land, so we'll play this. Five mana. Okay, killing this and there's nothing I can do about it. Yep, unfortunate. How about a Conclave Cavalier though? Okay, so I can give this plus one, minus one, so I can turn it into a six, four. Do I have enough mana for that and for the damage prevention though? 
I guess the damage prevention doesn't matter. Um, but I don't have enough mana for it. Sure. So I kind of want to draw land now, I think. Six, four, okay. Ooh, the glider, okay. That's actually pretty good. Because now with the glider, I forced the Thopter to block the uh, the glider, and then I just prevented damage to the glider. Forest walk would have been very annoying for me here. I would have died to this thing. I feel like okay, five mana. What's going on here? Chad Crawworm indeed. Oh no, two things with reach is actually really annoying. Needed to fade that for like one turn here. Good to see by the way, Juan. Oh, okay, never mind. Um So what do we even put this on? Put it on the five five? Do I have enough mana for that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And put it on this. Um I mean I could just put it here. I think it's probably okay to put it on this. I don't know. And then I'll just pass, I think. I mean, I could attack with this. I don't think I want to though. Yeah, glider's reasonable. The only thing is it's like very much a chump attack, right? Because there's so many things with reach now. This actually improves this as a blocker too, which is kind of reasonable. <laughs> Weird game so far. I don't think I've played it particularly well. Wacky's got a lot of cards in hand. The angel isn't attacking, is it? No. Okay, well that's not good for me. Five damage there, okay. Are we going for a big attack here? What's the plan? Does this give trample? No, just plus one, plus one, okay. Well that can't really attack into my, sure, that's fine. Um. So, now what? Now I can play, huh, I don't actually want to play any of these though. Hmm. 
password. I can just sack like the glider, I guess. It's really awkward though. Maybe it's fine. can do this and then next turn throw the angel in there opponent needs like an overrun because now if I attack with the angel the opponent can't just block with the 3-5 and the 1-1 because I can prevent a damage to it so they have to put the 6-4 on there I'm gonna see like another two mana fight spell. No. Three mana. There's a lot of tension in this board state. Okay, waking the trolls. What does this do? Destroy target land. Oh, that's actually pretty bad for me. Now they get to reanimate a land. And then they make some four fours. Okay. Well, it doesn't really work so well now, but I guess now the plan is I send this in and I'm now, oh, actually, oh, first strike makes it so they still have to put the craw worm on there, right? Yeah, this doesn't work. Oh, okay. That is allowed. And I guess I just start making 4-4 four, four flyers, right? Sure. Two, four. So many reach creatures. Okay, and a one, three. That's fine. So you can trade two, four for this. I don't think you were supposed to play this. Okay. Now I think I go attack with these two. Make an angel. Okay, I don't think that was the correct block. Um, I guess at this point, I don't really know what the opponent can have. How does this work? If they control fewer lands than you. Okay, so I want to play my land, basically. And then, okay, so that did nothing. <clears throat> okay, cool. Well, Moon Silver Spear, I guess. <laughs> Apparently it was pretty good. We never actually had any good, like, attacks, <laughs> weirdly enough. We just got to basically chump attack and then just have an endless stream of 4-4 flyers with first strike, which does sound pretty good. Um, yeah, I guess we just run it back. Let's see how things are going here. And we have another keep here. Another good hand. Last game I thought my hand was really good and then that pinger was really annoying and we got really lucky that Wacky blocked. Um, yeah, it's 
definitely possible I was supposed to send in the Yeti. Um, yeah, I don't remember what the board state was like at that point, but I can definitely imagine that being a better play. Do this, pass the turn. And then we can just try to send Griffin Sentinel in the air. Tattermunge, maybe? Oh, Arcane Teachings, okay. Well. Could be a problem, We're taking four. Can't play either of, actually we can't play anything else here. So if we get hit by a removal spell, we almost lose. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with the Snake Umbra now. See what happens with the opponent. Okay. I think I just have to go all in. And if I draw Forest naturally, I can play Quirion Elves with Snake Umbra. Okay. <laughs> Five mana. No, four mana. Oh, another one. Sure. I think that's fine. So we got to send this in. It's going to die. We do have a 4-4 four, four flyer at that point. Yep. we eat a removal spell here, we lose. We're only at eight. Three mana. Uh-oh, is this Chandra's Outrage for lethal? Thinking about something here. Nope. Okay, that. That is terrible for me. That does basically just kill me. have to chump here now. And yeah, that'll do it. All right, I'll go into game three. Auras are a real weakness, apparently, and arcane teachings in particular. Just not much I can do against that thing. All damage that would be dealt by enchanted creature. I guess defang is actually not crazy. Maybe these removal spells are okay. Better than like this. Mm. Not sure about this. We'll try it, I guess. Uh, this might be over sideboarding. Okay, this hand's pretty good. Tapper could be nice eventually. I am going to need planes here at some point. That thing, sure. Play this one, I guess. If 
probably a 2-4, yep. There are like three of them in that one, so. We could just do this. I think I just play one of my own here. Probably supposed to draw first, but I don't know. I was really getting beaten down in game two. I guess I, hmm, this is just dying now. Starfall, that's very annoying. Okay. Crawl worm, sure. Hmm. Not really sure what I'm supposed to do. I guess I'm just passing. I might go for double strike on this golden hide ox or whatever. Do I just want to take five damage here? Sure. I think I'm fine taking five. I could also, actually wait, no, I have a double block here. No, the opponent doesn't go for it, sure. Okay. I think it's fine to do this. And then maybe five, four double strike does the job. <laughs> Opponents on two cards in hand. I'm not blocking if Craw Worm attacks. And it doesn't, okay. Um I will just play the tapper here. I have excoriate in hand, I'm not in a hurry. This game just got much harder. I guess what I'm supposed to do is land this, this, this. I'll play this here. I'm just going to try to chonk them out here. Hopefully that'll work.
So the opponent has to choose whether they want to use bullwhip, something bad is happening. No, it's just a bullwhip activation. Okay, that. Um, I think I don't care very much about that. Yeah, not super surprising. But the thing is now, because you didn't target the 1-1, one, one, I didn't have to prevent a damage to it, which means I now have Flowering Field, which can do that, which means I get to untap with it and I get an Excoriate next turn. So we should be in good shape here, barring some shenanigans. This is a lot of mana. Five. Can it just be like waking the trolls or whatever? Actually, that's pretty bad. Anything that blows up the flowering field. Yeah, no, never mind. Maybe there might not be a good five mana card for us to see here from the opponent. Well, we'll see what the opponent's up to here. It's really funny that Starfall um, does have that text. Oh, okay, this one. This one is annoying for me, for sure. I think I'm pretty likely to exile this. Crawl worm, okay. Okay. So, I mean, I think the opponent knows that they have to hit the minister at this point. Um, and if not, I'm pretty happy, I think. So we'll just go ahead and do this. Get this out of here. Yeah, so the thing is I would rather like have my Avon Sentry die than my Tapper at this stage, I think. Because we're in very different kinds of the Abyss here, I think. Because I'm, the opponent is currently under the kind of abyss where they have to worry about a 5-4 double strike coming at them, and I don't know. I mean, I'm, I don't think I'm winning this game if I draw air and they draw gas. 
but otherwise I think I probably am. Ooh, that was really good. Yeah. Oh, wait, was it? Maybe it wasn't. And then I think we push this two one out of the way. And now we prevent a damage here. Unfortunately, this is colorless, so the bodyguard doesn't actually do anything against it, but I'll just take it, okay. But now you lose. You need a red removal or you take 10 now. Okay, giant spider. You have to bullwhip now. This dies, yep. And now I 10 you. Unless held an overseer. Okay. I don't ten you. Um Uh, I guess it's okay. So Oh, wait. Oh. Wait, no. That doesn't work. Okay, never mind. Yeah, this doesn't work. That, yeah, that is what you have to do. And I guess I just pass. So I just do this. I don't know. So I guess I give this, I guess I give this, mm, yeah. Green. Okay, interesting. Wow, that's horrible for me. I think I'm losing pretty badly now. Maybe not. So the problem with the bull whip on the one one is it would have had to attack even if I prevented a damage to it. I'm gonna lose this. Hmm. Kind of spewed my 
defang, I guess. Though, I don't know, maybe not. Okay. Next turn, I guess I alpha. I need to take a damage here so I don't let bullwhip plus teachings kill a 2 2. <laughs> I don't think that alpha is very good for me. Seems really bad. Yeah. Um, I think I need to let this happen, sadly. Probably should have played land there. No. Ooh. Okay. Oh, is this the worst punish in the world for not playing land? Might be. It just might be. The eight drop. Now my things get pinged for free. Oh, but they missed the bull whip. That's nice. So I might end up winning this. I might actually win this through time. <laughs> so they can now kill the other 2-2. Two, two. They can actually start attacking here. Yeah, I really messed up by not playing land. Kind of shockingly how big that mistake was or shocking how big it was whatever I'm trying to say here okay I mean all I have to do is survive Windstorm X is five. Wow, that's horrible. It's like impressively bad for me. Okay. Opponent does actually have to kill me in time. That's the one thing here. They might do it. Taking five. It's so awkward. Yeah, just like a five, four. Well. Uh-oh. <laughs> mm. 
I mean, I should be pretty dead here. I feel like I really threw this away by not playing that land. Kind of interesting that Huh. Does this kill me? Four, five, four. If I block five, four, four, three. If I block this. What if I block this prevented damage to myself? This is five plus three plus four, which is 12. Now they can kill it with bull whip. Oh, but they missed it? Okay. Don't care about that one. Six. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. So I guess this kills me. Sure looks like it kills me. Yeah. All right. We're dead. Oof. Keep this. Hey Eli, how's it going? We eventually got pummeled by uh, by Wacky there, the power of Bull Whip. All right, grab a forest, and we grab another forest by accident. Crushed by work, that doesn't sound very fun. How's that going for you? Jund mana. 2 1 first strike, sure. Okay. Rather 0 3 than in magic. Or, whoops, in magic than in life. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, I will. Yeah, if you want to play something that kills this, that's fine with me. Sure, okay. But wait, why did that attack? Seal of fire, okay, that's fine. Can you kill that then? But then wouldn't you rather play that pre-combat? I don't know. But that's okay. Ooh, the Cavalier. Um, I think I just want to be mana efficient here. Maybe I don't, but I think it's all right to do this. Is 
This deck is so good. It's so sad to be 0-1 with this, but I did pass Bullwhip and I did pass Broken Fall. And I don't know. Feels kind of fair to get crushed by them. Okay. All right. Well, that was a quick one compared to the last game, which took forever. So the opponents on Jund stuff, uh, I don't really think I saw anything that would make me want to change anything. I don't know. I thought this deck was so good going into pack three. Sad that we didn't get there, but I do feel like I made some pretty actionable either mistakes or things that I could have done differently. I don't remember what I took over Bullwhip. Okay. This looks good. One, one wither, okay. Bodyguard, sure. I don't think I wanna trade those, but we have the option to. I think I would rather try to protect something with a snake umbra on it. Sure. So I think next turn we're playing Griffin Sentinel, planning on blocking, and then we can actually Snake Umbra after. Poisoner, yep. And Spore Frog, also yep. Okay. Now, yeah, I think it's time for just Griffin Sentinel. Happy to block anything that I'm allowed to here. Not going to attack with the bodyguard. And then charging Griffin, waiting in the wings, if you will. Ooh, Fire Imp. Um, oh, this is very good for me. So now, because this says two damage to target creature, I get to target this, give it pro red now. And now you have to Now you have to kill your own thing. Yeah. <clears throat> the Wither guy can't attack. Poisoner can. Um, I don't think that bothers me though. Um, I think I want to play this. I don't really know if it matters which griffin I'm supposed to play here. Definitely supposed to play a griffin. <laughs> or, oh, this one's just a bird. What is this? Phyrexian Boon. Okay, sure. No seal of fire. Okay. Um, I think at this point I just run out the tapper. I would block fire imp. That one's not attacking though. And last card is Grixis Slave Driver. Okay, that is a good one. 
Oh, but we have this. So now I'm feeling very, very good. So now we get to Snake Umbra. We have a blocker for the Fire Imp. We have a tapper for the Slave Driver. We are in business. Okay, and oh man, we even have this. But this is a leaves the battlefield. So even though we do deny the unearth value, we don't necessarily want to excoriate. So we'll take our one. Okay, land. Oh, I shouldn't have played that, but that's fine. Attack. Yes. Griffin. All right. Now we should be in pretty good shape. Uh huh. So we actually get to tap this and now we get to save this still take one this time we're not going to incorrectly play our land before drawing our card. Yes. Dwarven Driller. Um, okay. I think we're fine with this. This deck is apparently very slow. Flowering Field. And now we go ye old ghast bark here. Pass. And then start tapping everything. Combat. We're going to tap this. this yep ooh nice I'll just do this now Land and then go green white, just like choose a random land. <clears throat> attack, 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 I think. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> All 
All right. So we didn't get a chance to tap our Imara, but we did get um, pretty close. Oh, okay. So we are all set here against Strat, which is nice. Go ahead and enchant this forest. We have three drop into four drop here too. Rotting rats, sure. Um, just ditch a forest, I guess. Okay, there's the Bant Panorama. Okay, Thought Thief, sure. Look at your own top card, sure. And we pitched a mass of ghouls there. All right. I think I now want to play this one. Blocks the three, two, and okay. Looks like we surveilled a Demir locket into the bin there. At this point, okay, Wall of Frost, sure. Blocks a creature, okay. Didn't know if it was like when this deals damage to something or what. Sure. Uh, indestructible, so we will not be blocking. Hmm. This is kind of a problem though for us. I guess we can just prevent the damage here. A little bit awkward that we are thinning our deck here. But I don't think it's a big problem. Yep, that's pretty good. Um, yep, that's fine. So I can just kill this. Seems like that's pretty tempting here. I think at this point, just run this one out again. Attack for another four. Keep trying to play this to block here. Take four. Let's see if we have any big boom booms here. Phyrexian Rager, okay. And macabre waltz. Interesting. What did that do? I really don't know what that just did. Um, I think I just play this sliver. Just attack for four. And now we have like 2-2 two, two block the 3-2, 1-3 block the 2-2, um, 2-4 two, 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 here. So we get there in that one. Could run Defang. I think I just run it back. Keep. I 
Sure. When I will close this one out, play land, go. Do this. Um, I think it's actually this one, and then I can double spell next turn. Go. All right, land, attack. I think it's worth it to double spell. Massive ghouls, okay. Now we have old cast bark. Hey, Hexus Knox, good to see you. Oh, sure. I don't think I'm worried about that just yet. Go tap this. Nice, and then we can go exile this. Do this now too. Just take it, okay. Destroy all creatures you don't control. Okay, that's pretty bad. Well, that was a good one. Go, what do we do here? Oh, we got to six types, sure. I think it's fine to do this. You can't, I guess you can put a, I don't know, it's fine. Maybe I was supposed to just trade for the four four. That's not ideal. Yeah, now I'm super dead. Would like to play first. I think this is a mulligan. Okay, this hand looks much better. Get rid of this. Go. Spear. Yep, tap that one. 
now. Right. Would like to find green mana. Interesting, sure. Lots of clicking here at the moment. Jungle Troll, sure. Green mana? Nice. Don't know which one I'm supposed to play. I think I'm going to play Amara. And a concession. All right. What are we doing here to my Conclave Cavalier? Putting it on top of my library? Oh, dark Bargaining in combat, okay. Um, I think I'm supposed to run this back. I'm gonna keep this, but it's not very good. Maz Mulligant, okay, there's a nice draw, just like anything, anything like that is gonna be good. Do we have to take our beats from that one for a bit? I kind of wish I had the dragon engine over the glider here. Okay, that one, yeah. Interesting. I think you're supposed to leave the 1-4 back. Your 
one's getting tilted at all. Let's see. Because now we get this attack for three. Oh, goodness. Okay. Tapped creatures, death touch, untapped, hexproof. Sure, this is horrible for me. I have to do this and then red. Sick. Uh, I think I don't block. Okay. And then untap another target creature or land you control. Okay, so they can, they can't give something depth touch, but they can give something hexproof. Sure, yep. It's a craw worm, basically. Not very likely to beat a 6-4 here with mostly air. Yeah, that's too much air, I think. Sure it's familiar. Yep. So we win one of the matches and we almost assuredly lose this other one. Or at least this game. Morsel hoarder. Okay, and we removed the counters on it. Mm, I think I just take 10 here. Okay. So lots of really nice green things. Um, is this any good? Probably not. Feels like I just have to be much more discerning with the hands I keep. I'll try again. I don't love my chances here though. I feel like I have to draw the right half of my deck. I do feel like I can win this. I don't feel like it's very likely. All right. Try again. If I end up against that rare, I'm kind of toast, I think. The sand is not great, but we are going to keep it. the redeemed okay so I'm going to lose Sure. What does this do? Trample. Red or white. Yep, that's fine. We'll offer the trade here. You never know.
So Reese activation, yep. This is a white creature, these both are. Druid's familiar would be horrible for me here. Block. Cyclops, sure. annoying that I can't play that here. Yep. Oh, I maybe should have tapped Therese. I'm not totally sure. Hard game. Okay. Don't want the opponent to double token, so we now need to tap this.
what do you got for me? Um, I think that is not allowed. Actually, maybe it is. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, whoops, I did mess up how I tapped there. That was a little sloppy. No, yeah, there's no reason for me to tap that way. Oh, well. almost have lethal just to be careful I don't mess anything up here I feel like I already have messed some stuff up let's pass Combat, tap this one, go, just charge in with everybody, nope, okay. So first things first, we'll tap Reese now. No, tap. And this one, I guess. Well, surprised we beat an overrun there. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have enjoyed the stream. And
we'll catch you next time.